I'm starting a new series today called Do Something. This new series is a call to action. There's a time for everything. Um, I understand that. The truth is most people err when it comes to action on the side of procrastination, putting off for whatever reason. My call today is do something about the right things. The first aspect I want to focus on is on do something about excuses. Those things that all of us somewhere, sometime make. And very simply, stop making them. That's my advice to you. You say, well, that's oversimplified. Well, hang on. It starts with a decision to say, I'm going to stop making excuses. But maybe understanding the why you should will help. And here's the simple reason. Because people who make excuses are often interrupted by people who are doing something, telling them to move out of the way. <laughs> That's the truth. It's also the truth that excuses, whether valid or not, hardly ever bring positive solutions or changes about. Simply put, excuses don't work. There's a lot of things that can happen as we make excuses. Some things that take hold of it, us is, is like a victim mentality. Um, there's procrastination. There's uh, paralysis. And, and, and there's some nasty things that come with the habit of making excuses, even if they sound good. The antidote, become a solution seeker. The antidote, take control back of your decisions and very importantly, take responsibility for your life, for your decisions. Simply put, stop making excuses and start making a plan. Or, if you can't come up with anything, ask for help. It's as simple as that. Just one other thing. The close kin to excuses is blame. Blaming others or blaming circumstances for your failure to deliver or change or improve. Blame and excuses, they twins. We have to deal with both of those. Over the years, I've seen that people can come up with perfect excuses, legitimate. I've seen them blame circumstances or other people, and it's valid. But you know what? Nothing changes. My finding is that blame and excuses have one thing in common. It does not change anything for the positive. And after all the blame and excuses, you're still stuck. As long as you blame or make excuses, there will not be positive change or forward movement. So I want to repeat. Take control back of your decisions and take responsibility for your life. Become a solution seeker. Simply put, stop making excuses and start making a plan or ask for help. Just one example from the Bible. Moses, when God started interacting with him, a man that had a calling and a purpose over his life, but made excuses when God came to say, Moses, it's time. I want to activate you and release you into your purpose. It was excuse after excuse. Legitimate. I'm not a good speaker. Eventually, interesting in that, context that you can go and read for yourself is God was at the point, how radical it may sound, to killing Moses, to removing him because God needed somebody that would go and save his people and lead them out of bondage and slavery into freedom and purpose. And Moses was the chosen man but excuses stood in the way and God had to say either I'm going to remove this man and find somebody else or whatever. My people will remain in bondage for another 400 years. The only thing that saved Moses was his wife. 
that stepped in and actually brought the turnaround in the situation. Please don't get to that point where there's such extreme actions necessary to get you moving into God's purpose. Please today, take this to heart. Stop making excuses. Make room rather for God to come and powerfully partner with you in your life for your purpose. But it starts with a decision. And may you make that decision today to say, I'm going to stop making excuses or blame things or people. I'm going to become a solution seeker with God. And He will not fail you if you honestly ask. His invitation is ask, seek, knock, and you will find and be answered. That's the starting point. So in a simple prayer, I want to commit this to God. Father God, help all of us to quit making excuses. Stop hiding behind excuses, valid or not. Stop playing the blame game and just say, Lord, empower me today as I choose to become a solution seeker with you. Help me. Give me your insight. Give me your wisdom. But no more excuses and no blame. Lord, I pray that you will greatly empower everyone that makes that decision right now. And partner with them and lead them into finding godly solutions and see godly movement come in their lives. Thank you, Lord. Amen.